Well, the fear of snake is so entrenched in many people that a majority would be clueless if they came face to face with one, or if was bitten. One man has embarked on a mission to teach the locals in snake-infested areas about snakes, how to identify the poison, poisonous ones, and what to do if bitten. KTN senior reporter Karen Derry has that story. Well, in any particular situation, the average Kenyan would not know what to do if they encounter a snake, let alone identifying which ones are poisonous and which ones are not. These creepy, crawling creatures could send chills down anyone's spine, and indeed they often do. The fear of snakes is rife in many people, but not to one Royan Taylor, whose knowledge of snakes is remarkable. He handles the snakes with utmost ease, and he goes about his duties of teaching locals about snakes, how to identify the poisonous ones, and what to do if bitten. This is a black mamba that is highly poisonous. If his immense knowledge is not mesmerizing, then his expertise in the Kiswahili language surely is. For Royan, the Kiswahili speaking Mzungu speaks the language fluently as he teaches people on matters snakes. Tukona dawa inaitwa antivenom na hiyo kazi yake ni kutibu mtu ambao ameumwa na nyoka. Tumepata watu wengine ambao wameumwa na nyoka kimsumu mbaya sana. Kusema kweli unaweza sema huyu mtu hata survive na anafika hospitalini anapata antivenom anatibiwa. A third-generation Kenyan born in Kenya, and so were his parents. His ancestry goes back to Britain and South Africa. We met up with Roy and Taylor at the Lewa Conservancy, where he taught wardens and game rangers on handling snakes, which they encounter while on duty in the expansive conservancy. A director at the Watamu-based Biocan Snake Farm, Royan partners with the James Ash Antivenom Trust, which is named after the man who taught him about snakes and was the first curator of the snake park, the late James Ash. Having worked with locals for many years, he says the biggest inhibition is the traditional beliefs. Si semi mganga hafanyi kasi yake, lakini kwa mambo ya snake bite, venomous snake bite, ile nyoka ambao iko na sumu, iko na dawa moja peke yake na naita antivenom. Mili nasikiaje? Nasikia na tele. The challenge for them now is to find enough antivenom as there seems to be a shortage of it in many snake prone areas. The problem what we're having is the number of snake bites is going up and the amount of antivenom that we have is going down. So there's a desperate shortage of antivenom in Kenya at the moment. The wardens speak of their numerous encounters with snakes in the parks. Katimoja tulikuwa kishaka, tukaenda patroo, silipi nga mwensetu ika ingia na nyoka. Tumekua familia sasa, hakuna aja kuwa nyoka mbaka ujue ni gani, njoka ngani. His intense medical research at Biocan Snake Farm is aimed at finding the right antivenom for all kinds of snake bites. Carol Derry Katien at the Lewa Conservancy.